You are invited to a murder. A stranger lies dead in Arlington Grange. There are six suspects, but which one is the killer? Could it be Mrs. Peter, lady of the manor and beautiful society hostess? Perhaps Colonel Mustard, military hero and intimate family friend? Is the Reverend Green a saint or a sinner? Is it Professor Plum, a man with a degree of suspicion? Miss Scarlet, Mrs. Peacock's glamorous stepdaughter? Or Mrs. White? Loyal housekeeper and devoted confidant. Your host for Cluedo is Richard Maitley. Good evening. I don't know whether you've heard, but there's more bad news for the government tonight. A cabinet minister has been murdered here at Arlington Grange. Now, events are still rather confused, and we're not quite sure which room it was in the Grange that Sir Nigel Hussey passed on to that great dispatch box in the sky. But we know it has to be one of six. It could have been the library, or the drawing room, it might have been the kitchen, he liked a game of billiards, so it could have been the billiard room, or the dining room, or maybe he met his maker right here in the study, where we have a fearsome array of weaponry, six objects in all, one of them killed him. Was it this? This fearsome and rather bizarre flamethrower, only uh, slightly less bizarre, somebody's G-string. Was it the golf club? Or maybe the poisonous snake? <laughs> Please. Possibly it was the crossbow, ready and loaded with a bolt. Or it could have been the 6.5 millimeter pistol. We don't know yet, but what we do know is that there's going to have to be a by-election in St. Nigel's constituency. So who caused it and why? Let's go back a bit. Come along to Sin City, the most beautiful place in the world. It's hot, it's sexy, it's Sin City. Who? Sir Nigel Hussey, our so-called National Heritage Minister. Never heard of him. Well, you should have. He's about to allow the developers to turn all that land outside the Grange into a nudist colony, a, a, a sex theme park thing. Excellent. Naked people prefer outdoor fun. Outdoor fun means barbecues. And there's nothing better for the feast au naturel than the plum barbo blaster. Oh. But peacocks have lived in this house for generations. My great-great-grandfather planted the woods around this estate. Surely you can block planning permission. Surely you must. The times they are a changing, Mrs. Peacock. Neither you nor the government can afford to live in the past, except that Sin City, the pleasure park of the 90s, is to be built on your doorstep. Over my dead body. It's the wildlife I'm scared for. In the woods there are badgers and foxes and even a nest of adders. What about house prices? House prices? Well, I had to remortgage Mark's coffees to raise capital for the barbo blaster. <laughs> Your offer is most generous, but I'm afraid that Hussey Holdings stands to make millions, not small change. Hussey Holdings? Why, you obese hypocrite! Flattery will get you nowhere, Miss Peacock. In that case, perhaps something else will help you change your mind. Mm. Oops. I'm afraid I have another appointment with the very beautiful and very young Miss Scarlet. Must fly. Green this Sin City thing. Mm. Do you think it'll affect the value of Marsh Cottage? Sell it. They're turning it into a dual carriageway. It's hot. And it's sexy. 
It's Sin City. Enchanting. Simply enchanting. I think your uh, talents will admirably suit our marketing strategy. <laughs> but then, again, I'm not quite sure. I, I wonder if you would um, try this on. This, there are otters in the river, and by Tommy's pool they're breeding. Otters, huh? My great-great-grandfather used to hunt otters. But there'll be no more otters, and no more adders, if that man lets them build Sin City. Silently, he'd stalk his quarry. One shot was all he needed. Hanski mustard. Proszę was, proszę was, nic zjazki, nic zjazki. Jałski, filski, ingliski, spajski. Dear, oh dear. Double O mustard, just as yellow as ever. Bring it here, hussy. Sir Nigel hussy now, oh boy. God, you are the worst spy we ever trained at MI5. Drop you in Estonia with forged papers and tell you to infiltrate the Red Army and you end up being arrested by a tram conductor. Just you wait till I tell the ladies about this. Ah, oh, Mrs. White. Oh, what have you got there? Never you mind. Are you still waiting for that, Sir Nigel? We have a meeting scheduled in the dining room to discuss my investments. Well, will you tell him there'll be some supper waiting for him in the kitchen? <laughs> He made you take it off. Then made me dance around the room naked. Totally naked. And even then he wouldn't say if I had the contract or not. Is it that important? It's lots of money. God knows I need it. Now he says I have to satisfy the board. Pig. He's just using me. It's just that... Having put in all my money, it would be rather nice to have something in writing, you know. Your money? Well, you know that it wasn't my money, but, you know, it was the Roof Restoration Fund, actually, and the Diocese Treasury Reserve. I'm sorry, Reverend, I haven't got the faintest idea what you're talking about. What? Someone said you had some supper for me. On the tray, sir. Thank you. And I have some messages for you. Oh. Professor Plum would like to see you in the drawing room. Miss Scarlett is anxious to meet you in the library. And Mrs. Peacock is awaiting at your convenience in the study. Or is it uh, Professor Plum in the library and Miss Scarlett in the drawing room? Oh, very well. Don't forget your supper. Will it keep warm? Do-it-yourself cremations. That's what I could do with a barbo blaster if it doesn't work out for picnics. Well, Professor, what an ugly idea. Whatever made you think of that? That, uh, that dead chap. What chap? Well, you know, what's his name? Um, that's a Nigel fellow. So, Sir Nigel Hussey has gone to a better place, and I don't mean the House of Lords. We know that he was killed by one of these six weapons. We also know, of course, that he died in one of the six rooms here in Arnington Grange. But which one? And, of course, the murderer is one of six prime suspects under investigation tonight. Her naked ambition unfulfilled, did Miss Scarlet succumb to the red mist and take her revenge? Utterly humiliated, was Colonel Mustard hot enough under the collar to do the deed? Sin City threatened her family name and history. Did proud Mrs. Peacock kill to preserve?